The Song of Hiawatha by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Section 3. Hiawatha's Childhood. Downward through the evening twilight in the days that are forgotten, in the unremembered ages. From the full moon fell Nokomis, fell the beautiful Nokomis, she a wife but not a mother. She was sporting with her women, swinging in a swing of grapevines, when her rival, the rejected, full of jealousy and hatred, cut the leafy swing asunder, cut in twain the twisted grapevines, and Nokomis fell, affrighted, downward through the evening twilight, on the muscadet, the meadow, on the prairie full of blossoms. See, a star falls, said the people, from the sky a star is falling. There among the ferns and mosses, there among the prairie lilies, on the muscadet, the meadow, in the moonlight and the starlight, fair Nokomis bore a daughter, and she called her name Winona, as the firstborn of her daughters. And the daughter of Nokomis grew up like the prairie lilies, grew a tall and slender maiden, with the beauty of the moonlight, with the beauty of the starlight. And Nokomis warned her often, saying oft and oft repeating, O oh, beware of Mudjikiwis, of the west wind Mudjikiwis. Listen not to what he tells you, lie not down upon the meadow, stoop not down among the lilies, lest the west wind come and harm you. But she heeded not the warning, heeded not those words of wisdom, and the west wind came at evening, walking lightly o'er the prairie, whispering to the leaves and blossoms, bending low the flowers and grasses, found the beautiful Winona lying there among the lilies, wooed her with his words of sweetness, wooed her with his soft caresses, till she bore a son in sorrow, bore a son of love and sorrow. Thus was born my Hiawatha, thus was born the child of wonder. But the daughter of Nokomis, Hiawatha's gentle mother, in her anguish, died deserted by the west wind false and faithless, by the heartless Mujikiwis. For her daughter long and loudly wailed and wept the sad Nokomis. Oh, that I were dead, she murmured, oh, that I were dead as thou art. No more work and no more weeping, Wahanowin, Wahanowin. By the shores of Gitchigumi, by the shining big sea water, stood the wigwam of Nokomis, daughter of the moon, Nokomis. Dark behind it rose the forest, rose the black and gloomy pine trees, rose the firs with cones upon them. Bright before it beat the water, beat the clear and sunny water, beat the shining big sea water. There the wrinkled old Nokomis nursed the little Hiawatha, rocked him in his linden cradle, bedded soft in moss and rushes, safely bound with reindeer sinews, stilled his fretful wail by saying, Hush, the naked bear will hear thee, lulled him into slumber, singing, Ewa ye, my little owlet, who is this that lights the wigwam? With his great eyes lights the wigwam, Ewa ye, my little owlet. Many things Nokomis taught him of the stars that shine in heaven, showed him Ishguda the comet, Ishguda with fiery tresses, showed the death dance of the spirits, warriors with their plumes and war clubs, flaring far away to northward in the frosty nights of winter showed the broad white road in heaven, pathway of the ghosts, the shadows, running straight across the heavens, crowded with the ghosts, the shadows. At the door on summer evenings sat the little Hiawatha, heard the whisperings of the pine trees, heard the lapping of the waters, sounds of music, words of wonder. Minne wawa, said the pine trees, mudwe aushka, said the water. 
saw the firefly wawatesi flitting through the dusk of evening with the twinkle of its candle lighting up the brakes and bushes and he sang the song of children sang the song nokomis taught him wawatesi little firefly little flitting white fire insect little dancing white fire creature light me with your little candle ere upon my bed i lay me ere in sleep i close my eyelids saw the moon rise from the water rippling rounding from the water saw the flecks and shadows on it whispered what is that nokomis and the good nokomis answered once a warrior very angry seized his grandmother and threw her up into the sky at midnight right against the moon he threw her tis her body that you see there saw the rainbow in the heaven in the eastern sky the rainbow whispered what is that nokomis and the good nokomis answered tis the heaven of flowers you see there all the wild flowers of the forest all the lilies of the prairie when on earth they fade and perish blossom in that heaven above us when he heard the owls at midnight hooting laughing in the forest what is that he cried in terror what is that he said nokomis and the good nokomis answered that is but the owl and owlet talking in their native language talking scolding at each other then the little hiawatha learned of every bird its language learned their names and all their secrets how they built their nests in summer where they hid themselves in winter talked with them whene'er he met them called them hiawatha's chickens of all beasts he learned the language learned their names and all their secrets how the beavers built their lodges where the squirrels hid their acorns how the reindeer ran so swiftly why the rabbit was so timid talked with them whene'er he met them called them hiawatha's brothers then iagu the great boaster he the marvellous story-teller he the traveller and the talker he the friend of old nokomis made a bow for hiawatha from a branch of ash he made it from an oak bough made the arrows tipped with flint and winged with feathers and the cord he made of deerskin then he said to hiawatha go my son into the forest where the red deer herd together kill for us a famous roebuck kill for us a deer with antlers forth into the forest straightway all alone walked hiawatha proudly with his bow and arrows and the birds sang round him o'er him do not shoot us hiawatha sang the robin the apache sang the bluebird the owaisa do not shoot us hiawatha up the oak tree close beside him sprang the squirrel ajidaumo in and out among the branches coughed and chattered from the oak tree laughed and said between his laughing do not shoot me hiawatha and the rabbit from his pathway leapt aside and at a distance sat erect upon his haunches half in fear and half in frolic saying to the little hunter do not shoot me hiawatha but he heeded not nor heard them for his thoughts were with the red deer on their tracks his eyes were fastened leading downwards to the river to the ford across the river and as one in slumber walked he hidden in the alder bushes there he waited till the deer came till he saw two antlers lifted saw two eyes look from the thicket saw two nostrils point to windward and a deer came down the pathway flecked with leafy light and shadow and his heart within him fluttered trembled like the leaves above him like the birch leaf palpitated as the deer came down the pathway then upon one knee uprising hiawatha aimed an arrow scarce a twig moved with his motion scarce a leaf was stirred or rustled but the wary roebuck started stamped with all his hoofs together listened with one foot uplifted leapt as if to meet the arrow ah the stinging fatal arrow like a wasp it buzzed and stung him dead he lay there in the forest by the ford across the river beat his timid heart no longer but the heart of hiawatha throbbed and shouted and exulted as he bore the red deer homeward and iagu and nokomis hailed his coming with applauses from the red deer's hide nokomis made a cloak for hiawatha 
from the red deer's flesh nokomis made a banquet to his honour all the village came and feasted all the guests praised hiawatha called him strong heart sun getaha called him loon heart man go tesi the end of section three